story takes place in Alaska, specifically Anchorage, where people are encouraged to live peacefully with beluga whales, bears, and moose. The state encourages peaceful coexistence. The star of our story is a moose, one that liked to hang outside a particular martini bar in downtown Anchorage. He was just kind of chilling out. He didn't care if people got close to him. He almost looked intoxicated. A wildlife biologist for the state fish and game department showed up to help. His name is Rick. You see, what Rick explained is that there's these crab apple trees that drop their fruit during the Alaskan winters. Moose are particularly fond of these crab apples. They taste much better than twigs. However, the fruit ferments when dropped, and when the moose eats it, he gets drunk off the fermented fruit. Actually, this particular drunken moose really had a thing for crab apples. Rick remembers running into him before. Once, after evening the feasting on apples, this moose got his antlers tangled up in Christmas lights. Another time, he got tangled up in a child swing so badly Rick had to tranquilize him to undo the entire mess. A reporter wrote up a story about the moose that stood outside the martini bar and named him Buzzwinkle in the article. The name caught on and Buzzwinkle became a local celebrity. Unlike a typical moose, Buzzwinkle enjoyed his time in the city. He roamed about at his leisure. Rick frequently got calls from excited folk who had spotted Buzzwinkle. But like all things, a moose can't live forever. One fateful April night, Buzz Wingle took his final breath after living 30 wonderful and full years. However, the memory of Buzz Wingle's spunk and love of crab apples lives on in the hearts of the people that got a unique chance to consider a moose part of the community. To hear all of Buzz Wingle's story, check out the podcast from This American Life.